volume is really loud last time I was recording. Well, hello, it's time to play more. Well, I mean, it's been time to play, but now this is the second video. Introductions, hello everybody. Alright, first, we're gonna go down there and get the spider ball. I remember this part. I think this is where I got to on the original Game Boy. And then I was like, this shit is fucking atrocious. Alright. Whoa. Okay. So, but th the symbol is still there, so I don't know what it is I don't have. Okay, don't stand there, please. So you pretty much go down here to get the spider vole. Uh, yeah, I wish the symbols would go away, signifying that you got whatever was there. Because now I think there's something in the other room. Also, why would... Okay, whatever. Do -do, shout out to... Shout out to Donald Trump for making the world laugh, even if it's at him. Today on, uh, Jumpin' Town, it's my day off. So you can fuck off is what I think. I keep thinking about freaking the asshole who's been coming into work. Or coming into my place of work and causing a ruckus. I wish you wouldn't fucking die. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Uh, I can use this. You just get up there. Aha! 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 Going up the stairs, going up the stairs. Uh, um, I think I was supposed to use the spider ball in that other area, but I already got everything. Wait, does that mean like I have to hit three switches? in a different place to get the thing that's over there. Okay. Alright. I need to figure out... I guess I need to go down there, though. And also, <laughs> in the original, I like went everywhere with the spider ball, trying to like figure shit out, and I just couldn't get anywhere. Okay. Is it in here? Okay, there's nothing there either. What? What's the answer? I mean, I. Oh, oh. <laughs> I am an idiot. I knew there was something in there. Okay. You got me, Metroid 2. You got me. I. But the thing is, this game is called another Metroid 2 remake. I don't know. I. I have to assume there's a one already existing. Stop shooting at me, God! You little chicken head things. Oh, I guess they are birds, cause it's Chozo. I'm in like their house and I'm killing everything. But that's okay, their house is Samus' house because she's also um adopted. Just like uh my OCs. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see, anything in here, anything in here, gotta kill that chicken. Okay, puzzle time. Whoa. Why doesn't it make the other noise anymore? Whoa! Punk? This game feels so fast, and it's really satisfying to play. Like, I can play this really fast. Well, I'm not gonna speedrun, because I'm not an idiot. I mean, I don't want to do that. Whoa, a secret. This game's throwing scenes at me. Throwing scenes. Wait, why is there a block off here? Can I get through here, or what? Okay! Okay! I guess I need to use a spider ball. Wait, what the fuck? This is so weird. It, it does that thing it did in the Metroid Prime where 
if you held it in a direction and your direction would change? What the fuck? Why would it put me here? And you would keep going in that direction and then you would disorient yourself if you try to change the direction. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's really weird. Whoop! <clears throat> I think I already tried to talk about uh, my favorite Metroid games. I think I think my favorite one has to be Metroid Prime 3. Um, I think one is good, two is good also, but what started to take me out? What am I supposed to do here? Of them was the artifact collecting. And in the first one, it's like you get t like towards the end of the game, and you find out you have to go get them, and it tells you where they are immediately, and you have to revisit areas with like all your super equipped shit, and it feels kind of empowering. But in Metroid 2, you have to do that like three times. You have to do it in the dark world, and you have to do it in the dark world. And there's like three areas, so you have to get nine artifact things, and then at the very end of the game, you have to get twelve, and they're spread across the whole world. And it's like, fuck off. Otherwise, that's like a solid Metroid Prime game. Three has interesting, like, landscapes and shit, and, um,. It has kind of an artifact thing, but it's not required to beat the game. There's like a few you get for the story, and there's extra ones if you really want to um, keep going forward and like unlock secrets and shit. And that's cool. I like that. It was optional, kind of. So, what do I do? So, now that I have the charge beam, what? I guess I go down there. I guess this game was alright about its exploration is that uh yeah it's it's still like I don't have the weapon for this so I guess I can't go there but it's it's also pretty obvious about okay then just go where do you, where you haven't gone before and it's like all right um, I don't know why this door is still locked do I just do this nope Also, Metroid Prime 3 had, like, characters, and even though they died <laughs> really fast, they were still kind of cool. I wish Retro Studios kept them around longer, so they can, like, put them in things, instead of just trophies and Smash Bros. And even... Okay, I think, uh... Wait. I don't know... I don't think Gendreda's an assist trophy. Although it'd be cool if she was Dark Samus's, but I think that's it. Okay, so I need to get back up there. All right. Okay, that is some excellent controls. Okay, so what I did there was <laughs> there's a button. To to turn into that and then I press the older shoulder button immediately to go right onto the wall. That's pretty cool. So much like thought of the player convenience in this and I think that's I, I wish Nintendo, you know would like kind of get on this or something. I'm not saying like remake a game, but like make convenience like that. Ow, ow, ow. This is what you call a grinding room, because you can just grind those enemies and get shit. And also you can get hit, which I'm not very fond of. I really want to find out if there's anything upstairs, but I don't think there is. I'm just going to waste my time. See, this is what I did! When I was like nine, I just went around <laughs> all over the place, seeing if there was something there, but there wasn't ever anything there. Also, the music didn't change back, and it's kind of weird. Okay, well, 
the way up the top. It's gonna go all the way in the corner here. I'm gonna hope that there's something over here. Hey, wait. Yes, there was. Aha. Aha. Get down. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I thought the game froze for there for a second. Now, is there another thing? Oops. Damn it, dude. Damn it, dude. Damn it, dude. There we go. Oh. Oh. Why is he going through the wall? Doesn't make any sense, guys. Oh, you're a bitch. Oh, is there something in the corner? And I gotta find out. Aha, there's something over here. What there? I don't I don't think there's anything up there. Just gonna find out. Also, I like filling up the map. Now why would they put enemies all the way up here? Just fuck you over, obviously. Alright. Whoa, secret room. Oh god, there's a Metroid in here. Switch missile. Fuck, these spikes! Who put these here? Ugh. I forgot I was supposed to be looking for Metroids. But I never, I never would have guessed that there was one in like the way fucking corner. Uh, okay then. Also, no offense to Nintendo, but this feels like I'm playing a, a game. Or as the other Game Boy game was like, wow, I'm, I'm not having any fun. Damn it, dude! I'm trying to brute force everything here, and you're all like, hey, I'm gonna fly away too. And away you go! That's what Oogie Boogie says when you fight him in Kingdom Hearts 2. And, uh, what's his name says, uh. Uh, and Phil says, Get up on the Hydra's back! Ah, why did not. Why did I not go here? Oh, I don't like the sound of this place. Also, why would they put like the Metroid hatchling things if they're not even in the room? Uh, uh, okay, let's see what's up here. Why would they put this here? Also, the music gets like eerie and distorted. Scanning environments. Breeding grounds. These areas custom built ecosystem that favors the growth of Metroids. The terror in itself is dangerous. Tendrils growing along the ground release extremely corrosive chemicals. Opportunistic predators and scavengers who recognize this. Are you feeling on the ground? Take an dimension here. Tendrils, 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 tendrils. Ooh. Something, something, Metroids. Oh, now I'm in the bottom of something. Okay, now I know where I am. Now I'm under that place where you get the spider ball. <laughs> ah, Christ. Damn it. It's also weird that the Metroids look like this, instead of what they look like in every other game ever. I think other M and Metroid Fusion tried to like show the Metroids in other forms, but like other other games, they were just those uh, other kind. Also, they don't put anything in the rooms where you get the Metroid, like no power ups or anything. Okay then. Ouch. 
also these things are freaking dangerous as hell. The weakness is ice, but oh god. Uh Also, when you killed one in the, the Game Boy one, it was never clear what you did. It, it just, like, told you you killed a thing. Or it didn't even say anything, it just died and there was a fanfare and that's it. Like... The... I don't know, the Game Boy is so limited. And it really took me out of... Especially after coming out of Metroid Fusion, it really didn't feel like a Metroid game. It was like, what the fuck? Damn it, dude, please. Alright. Ah, uh, this is the last time I trade in the area. Yeah, eat shit. Okay. I mean, now there's nowhere else to go except down, but there's lava. Uh, okay then. I think this is a good stopping point. Whoa.